Hello, my name is Dylan Pollock, and today I will be discussing racial stereotype threat in education. Have you ever felt that your intelligence is being questioned, or that you are being seen in a stereotypical light, in negative light in particular? If so, the feeling you are experiencing has underlying tones of racial stereotype threat. For someone who has not experienced this feeling, I would still suggest you listen to this as understanding someone's experience with stereotype will increase your intelligence as well as overall empathy. So, what is racial stereotype threat? It is the fear or worry that you may be judged or treated stereotypically, that a negative stereotype may be true for oneself and that others may think it is also true. Now let's understand the difference between prejudice, discrimination, and stereotype. Prejudice is an unjustified, typically negative attitude toward an individual or group. Prejudice is often directed along the lines of gender, ethnicity, socioeconomic background, and culture. Now let's dive into what a stereotype is. A stereotype is an overgeneralized belief about a particular group of people. Stereotypes can be accurate, inaccurate, true, or false. Now, such as the stereotype that most dogs have tails, birth defects, and certain breeds aside, that is a true stereotype. However, a negative stereotype can also be the case, such, such as having prejudice towards female mechanics that can be linked to some inaccurate stereotype about a woman's skill with tools. And when stereotypical beliefs combine with prejudicial attitudes and emotions, such as fear and hostility, they can drive the behavior of discrimination. This fear of being seen with a notion of stereotype may produce anxiety, which can cause people to be distracted and thus undermine performance. This has to do with racial stereotype threat, okay? Now, what do I mean by performance? We'll take standardized tests, for example. If you've ever taken a standardized test, you remember being greeted with a booklet filled with empty circles awaiting for you to fill in your race, ethnicity, your guardian's educational background, your address, and your gender. Being reminded of your skin color, let alone your gender, not only reinforces stereotypes that you may, that you may hold to be true for yourself, but also brings along a tsunami of feelings, such as anxiety, stress, fear, and frustration, which all contribute to reduced performance. Take Texas Senator Rodney Ellis of 1997, for example. He recalls his thoughts on his performance on standardized examinations. He stated, I knew I was just as intelligent as, I would, I knew I was just as, intelligent as everyone else, but for some reason, I didn't score well on tests. Maybe I was just nervous. There's a lot of pressure on you, knowing that if you fail, you fail your entire race. Now let's mention some important factors about this account. The first, Ellis is an African-American man. Second, for racial stereotype threat to be felt, it must be salient and relevant. The conditions of saliency and, re and relevancy are brought to light when the examination asks about Ellis' race, as well as other accounts, such as awareness that others know the content of the stereotype, and that the stereotype is relevant in this context. Um, examples are blacks are unintelligent in a classroom. The target does not need to personally believe the stereotype him or herself or they self. However, it is enough to know that any bad performance might prove the stereotype to others. Now, when explaining the connection to inequality and racial stereotype threats importance, racial stereotype threat is nothing new. We're simply bringing light to the situation due to the fact that we're being educated in seminar right now. I was not incredibly aware of racial stereotype threat before I took the seminar. However, I'm really glad that I'm learning more about it so that I can have more open conversations with individuals who have experienced it more than I have. Furthermore, I hope that people understand that racial stereotype threat, again, is nothing new. But when we acknowledge that it's still happening and that history is practically repeating itself, we'll be able to stop ourselves when we have implicit biases towards people, certain races, and we can stop um, treating certain people negatively and provoking their uh, negative thoughts in regards to stereotypes linked to their race. Um, that's why I think it's important because no one wants to contribute to someone else's poor mental health due to them having a negative stereotype in their head about their race. Now, I know that, th that this isn't the most comprehensive review about racial stereotype threat, but I hope it's enough for someone who's not an academic to understand the main points I'm trying to bring across. So that is my presentation, and I hope you have a nice day.